So uh, to do this problem, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, again, is we need to make sure it's in quadratic form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now, to do plug it into quadratic formula, we just determine what our a, b, and c are. a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals 36. Again, the reason why b equals 0 is because, Michaela, I don't have a value for b in there. I don't have a middle term. So therefore, b is going to be 0. Now, we need to understand what the quadratic formula says. Quadratic formula says your x is going to be equal, x is going to equal opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So now, what we need to do is just plug in our values. So x equals opposite of 0, which is just 0, plus or minus the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times 3 times c, which is 36, all divided by 2 times a, which is 3. Well, opposite, opposite of 0 is 0, so we don't need to write that anymore. Plus or minus 0 squared. And then I have negative 4 times 3 times 36, which is, I guess nobody did that, negative, negative 4 times 3 times 36? Negative 432. So we have x equals the square root of negative 432 divided by 6. Now, can we simplify the negative 432? Do we have a square number that divides into negative 432? I don't know. Let's pick out our square numbers, right? Our square numbers, we have 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, dot, 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 dot. I don't know. It could. Well, you can't square root, yes. Yeah, so we are, since our discriminant is negative, we know we're going to have two complex roots. You're right. So we're going to have two complex roots. But we might still be able to simplify this. Does anybody know if this is simplified? I guess nobody's doing the work. Okay. So I guess I'll go ahead and check. 9 and 48. OK, is there any other ones? 16 and 432 divided by 16. It goes in there 27. I think there might be even a larger one, though, isn't it? 36 and 12. Um, there still should even be a larger one. How about 18 and 24? There might even be a larger one. 432. Um, 27 and uh, I can't remember what's that. Uh, anybody find out? Anybody else? Okay, well, let's go and do uh, what did somebody say? 27 and what? 27 and 16? All right. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, so I'm just going to run with that. So I'll show you guys what to do. So, how do you simplify 432? Okay? Negative, right? So, let's go ahead and do a square root of 16 times 27 times negative 1. Right? Well, what's the square root of 16? 4. Square root of 27. Square root of negative 1 is i. Now, can we simplify the square root of 27 again? We could do 9 times 3, right? So I could rewrite this as 4 times the square root of 9 times 3 times i, which this is going to be, it was 144 was the other answer. 4 times 3 times square root of 3i. So we have 12 square root of 3i. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 12 square root of 3i over 6. 12 divided by 6 is, I'm sorry, this is plus or minus. Um, so therefore, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So my final answers are x equals plus or minus 2 square root of 3i. And that's the simplified answer. Uh, we like, it doesn't matter where I is. Um, it does matter, but I mean,